Hey friends, if you do not know me, my name is Nicole. I go by the High Priestess 11 on Instagram and I am a psychic channel and medium and spirit guide. So today we're going to be talking about what it's like to have a dark night of the soul or an ego death. So let's talk about what a dark night of the soul or an ego death is. You can think of it as a collapse of perceived meaning in life. It's a deep sense of meaninglessness and it feels a lot like depression. You feel lost. Nothing makes sense anymore. There's no purpose to anything. And sometimes this can be triggered by an external event, some disaster in your life, a tower moment like a breakup or a death of someone close to you or some type of life shaking event. And in other cases, it can happen when we grow and evolve and heal so much that our old life no longer resonates and aligns with us. We start to feel like we're wearing a pair of shoes that no longer fit and forcing ourselves to continue to wear these shoes is painful and even intolerable. You might feel like nothing is satisfying you in the same way that it used to, your relationships, your job, your old habits, and the things that you used to enjoy. This can cause a lot of inner turmoil because you're figuring out who you're not, but you don't quite know who you are yet and who this new version of you is. The dark night of the soul is a stage of purification and is marked by confusion, helplessness, and stagnation. It feels like you're disconnected from the universe. It is the period of ego death or disillusion of the self and surrender to the hidden purposes of divine will. And no matter what the case or situation, know that a dark night of the soul or an ego death is always a blessing. It's just very painful for the time that you're in it. But know that when it's over, you're going to feel a lot better, way better than you've ever felt. I recently posted on Instagram about the dark night of the soul or ego death that I was coming out of. And I was shocked to see how many people have been feeling the same, exactly the same. So I was like, you know, let me make a YouTube video talking about this. Um, <clears throat> because I've come out of the other side of it, I can kind of give some guidance or some words to those that are in the middle of it. I feel like I've been having these experiences my entire life. And every time I would have these experiences, I would come out of the other side feeling different, completely different. And I was never the same. After each one, I changed a little bit. <clears throat> I went through a lot of death. I experienced so much death in my life. I have been sick so many times in and out of the hospital. Um, I've experienced a lot of chaos. I've been homeless, like you freaking name it. I've been through it. So I have experienced so many dark nights. And now looking back, you know, being out of the dark night, I can really appreciate it and see it for its beauty. <clears throat> but it's really like um, it's death. It feels so much like death. It feels like you're dying. And I can recall, like, I think it was the last week, probably seven or eight days ago. I was feeling weird. I was just, I just wasn't feeling right. I was feeling very heavy. Um, but now that I think about it, I've been feeling this way for about a month and a half. I recently moved, I moved into a new house. Everything is beautiful, everything is good, but I didn't feel right. I didn't feel happy, I wasn't enjoying myself. It didn't feel good. And then <clears throat> this last week, I really like it got heavy. It wasn't just a little bit of discomfort. It was all of the weight kind of piled up into one. And it was like, um, like I got punched in the face by the universe. That's what it feels like. It feels like a little bit of torture. Um, and so I was in it. I was in it for really, really badly. I would say for like a week, nothing mattered. I didn't care. I literally didn't care. And when I connected to my, my spiritual guidance or my spirit guides, all they would say to me is rest, rest, rest. Like, you know what this is. Just rest, chill out. And I'm like, oh, but I'm dying. Help me. And they're like, girl, you've been through this before. Go lay your ass down and, um, and sit in it and stew in it, basically. And just kind of uh, let those emotions consume you for a little bit. Because after they consume you, they go away. Um, and so yesterday is really the first day that I felt good and definitely different. Um, 
and I feel closer to the universe and more blessed than I ever have before. So let's talk a little bit about more of what it feels like or some signs that you can look for so that you know you are going through a dark night of the soul. So the first one is you no longer recognize your life as yours. So the things that you used to care about, you kind of don't care about it anymore. Your job, like you can't stand it anymore. Your old relationships, like you become so much more self-aware. And so you become very aware of others as well. And so you can see through all the fake stuff and you can see like, Hmm, this life I created for myself no longer fits very much like the shoe analogy I gave you in the beginning of the video. Um, the next sign is you know that you should be happy, but you're just not. Um, like I said, I just moved into this house. I'm like, okay, yay, I've been waiting for this for years. I'm, I should be so happy, but I wasn't. And, and I, I wasn't, and I wasn't also, I wasn't trying to fake it. I wasn't trying to pretend like I'm happy. I just recognized, hmm, I should be happy, but I'm not. Something's going on here. Uh, the next sign is feeling extremely stuck or lost. I always say, if you're not lost, then you'll never find yourself. So being lost is not necessarily a bad thing, but it is a very uncomfortable thing. The next sign is being extremely sad. Just feeling like bummed, but like overwhelmingly bummed and needing to cry and just feeling like you have so much to let out of you. Uh, the next sign is issues with sleep and changes in your appetite. You might also feel like, again, it's the meaningless feeling. Like you don't care to go cook yourself anything because you literally don't care about anything for that time. Uh, the next sign is getting the feeling like you need to rest or be still. Like you kind of just don't want to get out of bed. And that's why um, the dark night of the soul really resonates with depression. It, it feels like a depression, but it's not a long depression. It's just for that moment that you're experiencing that. The next sign is purging. So you probably are being called to release in a major way. So you might be sick. You might have a cold. You might be coughing like crazy. You might be sweating like crazy. All of these things are totally normal. You might be burping and yawning, um, peeing more than usual. This is just different signs of energetic release. Next is rethinking your idea of success. Society tells us that success is getting married, having kids, and working a job until you die. And I think when you wake up, you start to realize that none of that shit matters. And so your idea of success is going to be completely different from what the world views as, as success, but this can feel very uncomfortable and confusing. Next sign is you're no longer interested in external gratification. Like I said, you kind of just don't care anymore. There's nothing like for me, for example, like I said, I just moved into this house. I'm wanting to decorate it. And every time my brain is like, you want to go thrift shopping? Like you want to go thrifting? You want to go to Salvation Army to go look for cute stuff? Another part of me is like, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I do not care. I don't want to get out of bed. I just want to cry. And so I allowed myself to do that. I didn't force myself to um, seek that external gratification. I kind of just let myself stew in the yucky feelings. The next sign is having random and intense memories and dreams of past partners and forgotten childhood experiences. This is a part of the purge. We go through so much in our lives that we kind of stuff down and we try to cover up and we try to ignore because it's very painful. And so when you're purging and you're in this dark night, it's kind of like you're doing an inventory. You're cleaning out the metaphorical closet of your trauma. So a lot of that stuff is going to come up for you. And the next is being very, very self-aware. You're going to be able, it's like the universe is holding a mirror in front of you. It's like your higher self is like, here, look at this stuff. And it, like I said, it's the metaphorical cleaning of the closet. And so allow yourself to do that. Don't distract yourself. Don't watch TV. Don't put on a podcast. Just be with yourself. Um, okay, now comes my advice to those of you that are experiencing this right now. This is temporary. There's something about pain and there's something about lower vibrational emotions that makes it feel like it's an eternity when you're experiencing that thing. 
um, how vibration works is if you think about it, you know, people always say, you know, when you, uh, time flies when you're having fun, right? And so time flies when you're having fun is because you're in the present moment, you're enjoying yourself, you are happy, and all of that has a very fast vibration. So time, you know, if you're doing something you like, it's over in the blink of an eye. But if you're uncomfortable, like I, for example, I remember myself, I hated school, being in school and staring at the clock and feeling like it was in slow motion because I wanted to get out of there so bad. Time is relative. It's relative to your vibration. So if you're feeling these emotions, and I just want to clarify, it's okay to feel those emotions. All emotions are holy. I don't uh, subscribe to the idea that you should always be happy or that if you're not happy, you should try to find a way to be happy. I think that all emotions are sacred and they are messengers from the body and from the universe. And it's important to feel all of them low vibrational or not. So <clears throat> it feels like an eternity when you're in that space. And I think when we're in pain, we become very desperate and we're like, oh, universe, are you going to leave me here forever? I can't handle this. If this is where I have to live, I don't want to do this. And so we become a little desperate. So my advice to you is feel the feelings and know that they will go away. My next most important and best piece of advice is surrender. Surrender to where you are. Don't try to pull yourself out. Don't try to, like I said, find reasons why everything is okay. It's okay to be sad even if your external circumstances don't validate that sadness. It's okay. You have to allow yourself to feel those feelings. The more you push them away, the longer it's going to take for you to get through this. So I always say, allow your emotions to drown you. The thing that we don't understand about our emotions because they are so intense and so uncomfortable we don't want them to drown us. We will, people run for their entire lives from their emotions. And so they're so uncomfortable for us that we try to avoid them at all costs. Uh, so I invite you, instead of running from them, like something that's trying to hurt you, sit with them because there's a transformation that's happening. And don't you want that transformation to be over sooner than later? I mean, I do. Um, we don't want to be in pain longer than we have to be. So you got to really jump in there. Dive into the pool of those emotions and of that sadness because God is in there. Even in the most uncomfortable things. Uh, the universe does not view things as bad or good. So it doesn't understand uh, that you're in pain and you don't want to be in pain. It just knows that you're here and it wants to get you here. So it's going to do anything that it could possibly do to get you from here to here. And sometimes those things don't feel good. Sometimes they're uncomfortable. Because if we're being honest, the most growth happens from discomfort. So just know that you are in a state of transformation. And it is a blessed transformation. It is a beautiful transformation. It's painful. But just know that you're going to come out of the other side feeling more connected to God than you ever have. And that is something that you will happily go through a million dark nights of the soul to feel. So I also want you to know that I am here for you. You're not alone. Um, my Instagram has so much information about this stuff and it's free for you. I also have some guided meditations uh, you can book a one-on-one -on -one with me. I will put all of the links in the description of this video. Again, you're not alone. So many of us are going through this really dark tunnel right now. And I promise you, as somebody that has come out on the other side and I am bathing in the beautiful light that's on the other side of that tunnel, you're going to come out of the tunnel too. But while you're in the tunnel, really be in the tunnel. Don't look for the light while you're in there. Just be in it. And one thing that I do that has really helped me is I put my hand on my heart, my hand on my solar plexus, which is like the top of your stomach. And I breathe deeply and I put all of my awareness into my body, into my heart and into my solar plexus because these two spots are where the universe communicates with you. And so ask a question and ask out loud. Say, what do, what do you want me to do? What can I do here? What is the message? What is the lesson? I am here. I surrender. I let go of control. Let's do this. Let's do this because I want to get out. I want to get out on the other side already. So what do you need from me, universe? You got it. I'm here.
I'm paying attention. So communicate with it because it just wants you to be present. It just wants you to have the experience. And the sooner you surrender to the experience, the sooner it will be over and the sooner you will feel better. I hope this video helped. Um, I love you all very much. Remember, the pain ends. I promise. I hope you all have a beautiful day. Bye.